It's been almost seven years since the last episode of Desperate Housewives aired. And our favorite housewives have definitely been moving on. Find out which of the actresses successfully battled cancer, who married a very successful businessman and welcomed her first child at 43, and who's been suing the show's creators for years. Eva Longoria. Longoria was catapulted into stardom when she landed a lead part on the ABC show. For eight years, she portrayed Gabrielle Solis, a former model turned housewife. After Desperate Housewives was over, Longoria turned to producing and directing shows such as Devious Maids, Jane the Virgin, and Blackish. But living a life behind the scenes doesn't mean the actress wouldn't think of the idea of a Desperate Housewives reboot. Of course, who wouldn't do it? Longoria told ET Canada, I would always love to be in Gabby's shoes again. Eva is currently the wife of a Mexican businessman named Jose Antonio Baston. He is the president of Televisa, the largest media company in Latin America. According to sources, they were first introduced by their mutual friends in 2013, and he is her third husband. And three years later, the couple tied the knot in Mexico. In the summer of 2018, Longoria welcomed her and her husband, Jose Baston's first child, a boy named Santiago Enrique Baston. Longoria and Jose told Hola USA following Santiago's birth, We are so grateful for this beautiful blessing. It's Eva's first baby, and it's obvious she's definitely enjoying motherhood, as she's been constantly posting the pics of her cute baby boy on Instagram. But despite being a happy mother, Eva hasn't given up on work and keeps acting. This year we'll see two movies with her, All-Star Weekend and Dora the Explorer. Eva's name is now written into history through a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, which she got earlier this year. Fellow Desperate Housewives Brie and Lynette attended the unveiling ceremony, showing that their friendship went further than just being an on-screen one. Nicolette Sheridan Nicolette Sheridan portrayed our beloved Edie Britt, the main frenemy of Wisteria Lane. It's no surprise that many fans were upset when Nicolette suddenly left the show. The truth about what really happened there has just recently become unveiled. In March 2018, Sheridan revealed the drama surrounding her exit from the show stating the creator, Mark Cherry, killed off her character after she complained about their physical altercation. I was the victim of assault and battery on the set of Desperate Housewives by the creator of the show, My Boss, Sheridan told Entertainment Weekly. I reported him and was retaliated against for doing so and fired off the show. That is against the law. Sheridan filed a lawsuit in 2010, which was thrown out by the judge seven years later. She's currently working on appealing it. I was vilified for standing up for my rights, not only as a woman, but as a human being," she said. Cherry's reps said in a statement to EW, Nicolette Sheridan was not a victim at the hands of Mark Cherry. After her departure from the show, Sheridan retreated to her own farm in Hidden Hills, California, to think of whether she really wanted to leave the industry she'd been part of for decades. What happened at the end of Desperate Housewives was degrading and demoralizing, Sheridan said. It sent me under a rock. I really grappled with what happened, losing faith in people and really not trusting the business at all. I didn't know that I wanted anything to do with the business for some time. While staying away from acting, Nicolette wrote and produced a few of her own projects with Hallmark. It wasn't only when the CW offered her the role of Dynasty's notorious matriarch, Alexis Carrington, that she thought of returning to TV series. When Edie Britt died on Desperate Housewives, I feel like the audience felt like Nicolette died with her, she said. And I thought Dynasty was such a splashy, fun, strong comeback. It was just the right thing at the right time. Not only has Nicolette managed to get married, but also to get divorced. Her filing for divorce in 2016 came as quite a shock. That was mostly due to her keeping her marriage with the actor Aaron Fipers a secret. Sheridan got to keep her house in the celebrity-filled neighborhood of Hidden Hills and her pet horse, Leo. Her now ex-husband has quickly found relief in the arms of Charlie Sheen's ex-wife, Denise Richards. Felicity Huffman Huffman got critical acclaim for her portrayal of Lynette Scavo, winning an Outstanding Lead Actress Award in the 2005 Emmys, as well as an Oscar nod and Golden Globe for her portrayal of a transgender woman in Trans America in 2006. Felicity has been praised for her acting in American Crime, which also got her two Golden Globe nominations. But despite such a successful career, the actress often hits the tabloids with the details of her private life. In the real world, she's married to an all-time favorite from Shameless, William H. Macy but their relationship has been a difficult one. They had been dating for 15 years before finally walking down the aisle. But as surprising as it is, it was Felicity who was in no hurry to get married. She turned down Macy's proposals multiple times. 
but plenty of no's couldn't stop him from chasing his dream woman. The two of them have a bond in their mutual love for acting. As Macy said, it's the only language we have. Over the years, the couple separated at least five times, and after another marriage proposal, Felicity surrendered to the man's persistence, and she admits she doesn't regret it. The couple are now loving parents to their two daughters. William and Felicity are each other's biggest fans. They enjoy reading scripts together, and from time to time, they work in the same movie or TV project. They're still madly in love with each other after so many years since they first fell in love. Brenda Strong. Strong was the voice of Desperate Housewives. Poor little quirk is, is I never wear shoes. And for me, to be Mary Alice, there has to be a grounded effect because obviously she's so ethereal in so many other ways. She showed up on screen a few times, and those were flashbacks and dream sequences, but it was her voice that became the show's signature. Since Desperate Housewives, Strong has portrayed Anne Ewing, Bobby's wife and the new matriarch of South Folk in the Dallas reboot. You could have also spotted her in a guest starring bit on Scandal. In 2016, she landed a recurring role as Lillian Luther on Supergirl. She appeared as recurring character in the second season of the Netflix original, 13 Reasons Why, portraying Bryce's mother, Nora Walker. Last year, Brenda was promoted to series regular for its third season. The love life of the actress is also going well. After Brenda got divorced from her first husband, Tom Henry, she met John Famanesh Boca. The couple had a secret wedding in 2015, which the fans found out about from Brenda's friends' social networks. This came completely by surprise on all levels. The Dallas Star told the publication, I have so much to look forward to with him and our lives together. Marsha Cross. Her first major TV role since Melrose Place was Brie Weston, a thrice married housewife who suffers from alcohol addiction on the show. Three years after the finale of Desperate Housewives, which earned Marsha Emmy and Golden Globe nominations, Cross returned to the small with a recurring role on Quantico. Since 2006, she has been married to her husband, Tom Mahoney, who she recently had the twins with just before her 45th birthday. Marsha Cross is proud to call herself a cancer survivor. Last year, all of the fans had their attention on her as she made a post about her health struggles. So grateful and happy to be alive, but sad that my hair fell out and is about one inch long now and looks cray cray, she shared on Instagram. Anyone else have a hashtag hair loss due to hashtag cancer? Talk to me, I feel you. Followers and famous fans, including Lori Lofton, Kelly Rutherford, and Brenda Strong immediately expressed their support to Marsha. But it wasn't until later, the very same month when Marsha explained to her fans that her treatment for anal cancer was successfully completed. I am so sorry my post wasn't clear. I am post-cancer. All good now. Hard journey. But I am healthy, happy, and more present and grateful than ever, she wrote on Instagram. Thank you from the bottom of my ever-expanding heart for all of your love. In fact, Marsha is grateful that she let her community know about her health struggle. Not only has she received lots of support from her longtime friends and strangers, but she also feels more free to live her life going forward. Terry Hatcher Terry isn't as close with her former co-stars as Eva Longoria. Their feud is well documented as back in 2012, Longoria told OK Magazine that Hatcher was a loner. Hatcher, who portrayed Susan Mayer, a.k.a. the emotional anchor of Desperate Housewives, has recently been plagued by rumors that she's broke, homeless, and living out of her van. Hatcher has denied these claims, which were first reported by a tabloid. On the cover yesterday, Star Magazine has an article that says exactly that. It's totally absurd that I am broke and homeless and living out of my van, said the actress, who has been shooting her YouTube series, Van Therapy, in a televised interview that aired March 2018. This is so far from reality, and Terry has got it all. As for how she feels about a potential reboot of the show, I'd be the first person to return. I never wanted it to be over. I love those characters. Terry is leading an active lifestyle, cares about proper nutrition, and back in summer even did a marathon with her daughter. But over the years, and now being in her 50s, she has grown to focus less on the exterior and instead prioritize strength. I guess the fortunate thing about aging is that you get an opportunity to be less critical of some exterior package and more focused on who you are as a human being, she says. Comment below and tell us who your favorite character is. Thanks for watching. Check out these other great stories from Asa and subscribe for new videos about your favorite stars.